instead of shouting over everybody, instead of shouting over everybody, why don't you let this gentleman fill his bottle? He's a really sinister, dangerous I'm at a place called the Blue Lagoon at Buxton or the Lagoon of Idiots because although it looks very inviting and I should imagine in the summer months when it's really hot that would look fantastic but it is incredibly dangerous and the signs all around warning you and it's because it's a disused quarry and the pH levels, it's limestone, so the pH levels are really high. It's effectively like swimming in bleach. So, yeah, not good. So yeah, a bit of a loose end today. I'm, uh, I'm always around Peak District area and it was beautiful and so well it's still be beautiful and sunny but it was just clear skies it's clouding over now and i thought oh i'll have a drive into buxton and have a look around because uh, i've not been to buxton for ages and I th i'm trying to as you know i'm trying to get a bit fitter get some weight off so i thought i'll have a little walk and that's why i read about that and i thought i'll have a walk and and look at that it's a bit sludgy though i like an idiot i've not got my hiking boots on Can I just ask you all a favour? What sort of content do you like me to do best? You know, when I'm on my own, because I can't always have Helen in. Do you prefer it when I go to nice sort of market towns and seaside resorts? Or would you prefer when I do the rundown, high streets and all that? I know there's a lot of people doing that uh, these days. I just wanted sort of the content that you want me to do and if you've got any suggestions for places you'd like to see me visit then put it in the comments and while I'm at it please if you could uh, subscribe to my channel that would be a massive help really appreciate it it seems each time I mention getting more subscribers I do get a lot of subscribers on that particular video so you're probably just going to have to put up with me mention it on every video now when I remember so yeah please like and subscribe and help me build this channel and do the content that you want to see so that's Buxton off in the distance that way and we're in the high peak which is in Derbyshire and it's a beautiful place. It's also, allegedly, the coldest place in England, apparently. I don't know if there's any truth in that. It's just the region, the area. Uh, I don't know. I just read it online. So you've got to believe it, because it were online. It were on Google. It just come up. It's what you get. When you park on a street, people come past and hit your mirror, and uh, yeah, absolutely smash my wing mirror now. So that's, I'm gonna need to come, I'll put it back best I can. Bloody hell. So, whoever did that, thank you, thank you very much. I've just been on my phone and I've been pricing uh, wing mirrors up online. I'll need a, a full housing and everything, and it's electric as well. So it's going to be a, fifth, a quick look, they're coming out at 50 to 60 quid, which, do you know what, is not as bad as what I thought. I thought it was going to be about 100 quid plus. So it is what it is, isn't it? You've got to be, when things like that happen, you've got to be philosophical, you've got to be, it's when I, I see it as a, a chance for me to practice my stoic philosophy. And I've got a theory that you can't, there's no point getting upset and letting it ruin my day. You know, things like this are going to happen in your life. You're gonna have so many things like this are gonna happen. You're gonna have your, your car run into, you're going to maybe have things pinched off you, you're maybe gonna be attacked, you're gonna have abuse. There's gonna be certain amount of things in your life. So all I've got to think of it is, you know, today was just my day to have my wing mirror hit. 
<laughs> and uh, and just not let it get me down at all. So I've I've come round into the centre of Buxton, and you know what? I don't like the feel of it to be honest. From what I'm looking on, so I'm I'm going to show you. But what we'll do, I'll put me. I need to get a ticket, and then we'll get it back. I'll make me sandwich because I can't be positive about somewhere if I'm hungry. So I'll get some something to eat, and uh, we'll see it through sort of refreshed eyes then. Right, I'm in the van. Obviously, I'm not going to do it fancy. I can't be bothered. I'm just going to make this chicken sandwich. Show you what I've got. It's a unique recipe. I don't think anybody else has ever done this. I think it's a speciality. It's a by the cube special. Let's see what we've got. We're going to start, these sandwiches are going to be on stone baked chia pata rolls. I'm going to do some nice chicken breast in the uh, Ridge Monkey. And I'm going to top it with some wild rocket and mango. Don't know why, don't ask me why. I just thought, yeah. Une Ridge Monkey. I did buy the little one, which were a mistake when I get another one because of that it don't fit on my thing properly. It keeps falling off. Right. Work the hands, put that in bin. Can't believe I forgot butter. What a muffy. It's gonna be the driest sandwich ever. I just have to put loads of mayonnaise on it or something as you can see from my ridge monkey it is very well used and the cracking things as I said this is the small one it's far too small but the beauty about it is you just do this I mean I want to just put them in so there'll be no way near but if you get one get the bigger one because that one don't fit on that very well just slicing up the mango. Is it a thing this? I just seem to remember chicken and mango, but I think that was like a Caribbean curry or something. I just think it'll go. I might have seen it somewhere else and that's where I've got it from. But they do do mango and chicken, don't they? Right, that is done. I did slice through it to check it will cooked all the way through. Is it going to work? Is it going to be terrible? I'll just put three pieces on. Now I won't have mayonnaise on this but as I said I'm no butter so... <laughs> Look at that! What do you think guys? That looks alright. Presentation is not one of my best things really. Let me present it better. I'm going to do some music on this, but you ready? Anyway, sod that. I need to taste it. I'll give you, I'll be honest, I'll give you an honest verdict. Yeah, it's really nice. I've not invented that ever. That's a proper thing. Mm. I don't think this is the center of Buxton. I think it's down this direction. So we're gonna have a walk down here and have a look. Some toilets there, look. It's good to know. Well, this is all very nice, isn't it? We'll come back up to that bit and have a look what that is. Nice hotel there. Is this a botanical garden? The pavilion gardens. We'll go to the actual pavilion itself first and have a look. So that's the opera house, isn't that beautiful? And this Art Nouveau 
entrance there. It's gorgeous. Crestfront pub. I wonder if I could go in. Let's have a look. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh. I'll have to look at the tours online, see if yeah, I can I book something. Tours, yeah, I know it's not the same as one yeah. you found yourself, <laughs> but yeah, they are quite good. Right. Thank you, anyway. Oh, yeah. Alright, bye bye. bye. Can't go in there. What's in here? Pavilion gardens. Free entry. Oh, look at that. It's nice and warm as well. Nice in there, nice and warm. Lovely cafe and stuff. But it were a bit like it was full of Tarquins and Dungarees, you know that type of person. It were full of them people, you know, that just let the kids run riot. I hear that mate. I mean, we all love kids and that, but it you know what I mean, don't you? You've got to have a bit of control on them. You know the type of people that think they're like children's BBC presenters in the dungarees and wellies and the kids and the kids have got to be the centre of attention. Oh look at my kid. This is a church. Oh, it's a rather unusual one. Can we go in? <laughs> Do you think it's open? Shall we go on? locked. Well that's not good is it? Church being locked. They're normally always open. That's a huge hotel. It reminds you of something that you'd see at Scarborough. But, you know, one of the old Victorian seaside resorts but then I guess this was a Victorian resort wasn't it a spa town and it's the highest spa town as well in England that's only facts you're going to get off me today I'm afraid I'll go in and have a look he says tripping of its steps is very cosy in here I do like that not that you want to watch telly but So I've just looked online and if I wanted to stay there tonight with Helen, two people, it's just £55 for a night. It is Britannia Hotels and you either love them or hate them. But it did look nice inside. 
It's got, uh, the review on booking.com was pleasant. I think it was 6.7 or something out of 10. I'd be happy with that for 55 quid. And it's, it's in the center. I'm not like a Britannia Hotels advocate. <laughs> No, but I just think that they're all right. They get so much stick. I think people go on about it because they see other people, and when they read all negative reviews, they're already primed. It's like that one in Scarborough. Ain't grand at Scarborough, it's all right. I mean, what are they expected to do? If they charged a fortune for it, it'd be empty. And these are fantastic old buildings. I mean, look at that. At least they're sort of maintaining it. So, I'm not going to criticise them. It's obvious that this was a place that attracted money. You can tell with it being a spa town, the rich Victorians would have come here for a break to recuperate from their stressful lives and take in the spa, which I don't even know where that is, and just drink loads of Buxton water, probably. This, this looks very nice. Look at this. This is obviously some kind of spa, or it was, because it smells like the place I went to in Budapest, that uh, thermal baths. It smells fantastic. I don't know if there's like a, still a spa in here, I'll have to ask. So what a lovely little arcade in there. Really nice, lots of quirky shops, independent shops. It smelled fantastic. I don't know what that was about. That was obviously a spa. So that will have been, that was the thermal spa and baths. Now, since I've got here, something has become very apparent, and that is that I should have done some research before coming here because it's nothing like I expected. I just, it was one of those places, you, you know of it, and you, I saw your top map, I thought it's not too far away, I'll go to Buxton, not knowing what to expect, and there's absolutely loads here, and it's really interesting. I'll tell you what, if Helen were here now, she'd be reading everything though. But it's really nice, I like it. I'm gonna have a walk down here. In fact, to be honest, I'm a little bit embarrassed that 
I've not done enough research. So if you're from here, oh, lights are green. If you're from here, I'm sorry if I've offended you. I need to come back. So we've got all that beautiful, amazing architecture, lovely buildings, such a, a great vibe. And then can you imagine, this is probably late 70s, 80s. Look at that. Unbelievable. in this place English what, what's, fly. what's he doing? Your bottle's full now. Is it? Yeah. Well, thanks for telling me. What do you need telling? Yeah. You let somebody else have a chance now. No, I'm just being patient. Shove off now, come on, that's enough. Shove off? Yes. <laughs> come on, you're really obnoxious. You're offending, know, yeah. every, <laughs> offending everybody. Put your stopper on your bottle oh, and clear off. <laughs> come on, clear off. Uh, other people yeah, want to go. So behind me you've got one of those obnoxious people that just like to cause trouble for no reason. So this guy, people are trying to fill the water up here and this guy for some reason, only known to himself, is just standing there like that. It's gone quiet now as well, hasn't Yeah, it? so that's what you get. Selfish. Just just move along and let's I don't know why you're doing it, just move along and so let's you're some... not selfish? No, I'm not selfish. Liar. And you're, you're swearing a lot. Liar. Uh, you're all Centre as well in Buxton, and there's a, a foul mouth. Oh, please, please. Not selfish. Oh, yeah. Everybody's selfish. Centre as well in Buxton, and there's a, uh, a foul mouthed, uh, obnoxious individual blocking the well and, and 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 abusing everybody who's here. If you can send somebody from Buxton Police Station as soon as possible, please. He won't move out the way of the well. Opposite the Crescent, opposite the Crescent in Buxton. He's just blocking the well with a bottle there that's, that's is already filled and he's abusing everybody who comes in. He won't let anybody else use the well. He's standing there refusing to allow anybody else to fill their bottles up, blocking the... Look, he, he, He's a really sinister, dangerous, obnoxious <laughs> person. You can hear I've gone his from selfish to his being sinister and, and, da now. and he's dangerous. He's a madman. He's a madman <laughs> who, who wants to certify him. What a so joke. Well, you, what abuse? Is it's just general foul, foul language. Foul, foul language, people. and he won't move. And telling everybody to f in this and f in that, be patient, this and f in that. And he's just blocking the well. His bottle's full, 
and it, it won't move. I'm cleaning it. But what are you trying to prove? Yeah, so it's got a long stick and a red bag with the word regatta on it, black catch and stop on. Is, are you, so you're teaching us a lesson, is that what this is? No, no, no I'm black teaching shoes. myself. Quite tall, oh, yeah. black but with no, beard. no regard for other people. Oh, I've always got to have regard for everybody. He's a really dangerous, so are we, a really dangerous character. I try to, yeah. I'm not perfect, but I try. Ah, you're not perfect. Well, no, nobody's, Thank you. nobody's perfect. Thank you. So, admitted I can't hear so you now we've acknowledged voice. that. Who you are. Now we've acknowledged that. Why do you let well, this Well, here you are saying, oh, I'm this, no, I'm that. I'm instead of shouting no, over everybody. My fault. Oh, my instead of shouting over safe. everybody, why do you let this gentleman fill his bottle? Move safely. Well, there's two other people here. They're We're all waiting to away. use the wheel. No, that's that's. The, you want to um, you want to inconvenience me, not the not the crazy person at the well. <laughs> There's the irony of life, you see. Bit of patience. No, I'm waiting here till the policeman arrives. Hello. Hello. I don't know what you think. 54, he said. 54, he says he is. Yeah, the mental age of about 12. I don't know, I can't hear your voice because he's just mouthing away and he won't move away from the well. I'm selfish, I'm arrogant. White I'm male, white male, white male. I'm obnoxious at times, yes. Well, you see, I'm not. Uh, I'm not giving you like in front people. of this man. Do you think I'm crazy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm away from, I'm away now. Is somebody going to turn up? <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> I think we just ignore him and walk away. I think that's the best thing. Walk away and he'll get bored. Yeah, he'll, be, he'll be stood him. there and using himself. The police station's only a few hundred yards away. How's your patience doing? Oh, oh really? What a letdown. Okay, that's all right, what then. a letdown. Pathetic, aren't they? Just, just leave it and then just let him stand there on his own. Sorry? I'd just, we'll leave it and let him stand there on we'll his own. To, we'll have to just all walk away then and leave this man to block the well from everybody else. It's rubbish, isn't it? Is it rubbish? He knows it, doesn't he? A scumbag, scumbag like that knows it. Because I know how moronic people like you are and predictable. You're so Sorry? predictable. You come out giving it all. Oh, you're this, you're that. Well, I know you. I, I can't know hear you because this man is shouting. I can't hear you because this man is shouting. I'll move away. I'll listen. And so you stand there going, oh, you're selfish, you're this, you're that, this, you're the other, but you don't criticise yourself first. Uh, we're, you getting, we're, having yourself. A, we're having a lesson tell me your faults. in Buxton tell from you this, you this gentleman. Like yeah, tell me your faults first. Shouting yeah, at ra random me. people. <laughs> Tell me your faults. You've got them, have you? Because you're f perfect, aren't you? You've got your cameras and you're perfect. And when you meet somebody like me who doesn't give a f about who you are, then it's like problem, innit? Hey? Okay. So come on, judge yourselves first before you criticise others. So we'll leave him Walk to stand on his own. Shoes before you criticise and abuse. Yeah. So that was interesting, wasn't it? It was all kicking off there, so I was just. So there's the, a, a natural spa thing there where you can get your own water. And I'm just walking past and I hear this guy shouting and swearing. I thought, what's going on here? So me being the intrepid YouTuber, I thought I'll have a look at that. And he was shouting at this young lad who was trying to fill his water bottle. Or he asked if he could fill his water bottle. So that guy was just stood there and just not, in, not letting anybody else have a go. The, the other chap phoned the police, which, you know, it's probably, I don't know, they've got more important stuff on, haven't they? But, I did, you know, I should have probably just ignored it. The gentleman was probably, he maybe had issues and it's...
I don't know if I handled that situation very well, I don't know. Well, you know, with retrospect, you always... When I see people being aggressive and obnoxious, I don't like it. And I like to sort of step in sometimes, if it's safe. But, you know, sometimes you, you take a step back and you've got to think about people's mental state and stuff like that. You don't know what could have happened. So maybe the, my approach should have been a bit different and maybe I should have just ignored it. I'm back up to where I'm parked and I'm going to have a pint. I hope they've got real ales in here. Something decent. We'll have a look. Quite busy. I'm having one pint today. I'm not going in a pub if it's crap beer. I'd rather drink bloody milk. There'll be another pub up here. Is that even open? No, I don't think it is. No. It's really funny because when I pulled into a bookstore, I thought this was here, I thought this was the centre. And I thought, oh, this is very nice. But this is just like a, a bit of a back street area. Oh, bar, there's one over here. See, that's the ale stop, beer that way. No beer this way. Let's have a look. That's like a little independent. Oh, that's nice. I've dropped on here. I'll tell you why in a bit. Oi, can we say hello? Can we say hello? Chopped on there, cracking little pub, the ale stop in Buxton. Check them out, lovely blokes, nice atmosphere, lovely log fire and pub dog. What more do you want? Perfect. So, that was nice, that pint, I had a porter. So that's a bit of a, another whistle stop tour this time of Buxton, and we had a bit of action in this video. I don't know what it's gonna look like on camera, but I've got to head to my sister's now because I'm babysitting and I can edit this on my laptop tonight and get it up for Tuesday, hopefully, which is when you're probably watching this. It's Monday today. The sun keeps coming out. So, yeah, let me know in comments whether you prefer like nice market towns, nice places, he says, after that altercation. Do you prefer nice places or do you want me to do some more like, you know, these like cities and towns that are all a bit deprived and stuff like that? I don't want to be too depressing, that's the thing. And there's a lot of people already doing that. But just let me know if that's what you want me to do. I'll do what you want. I've got another vlog coming after this. Probably be me on my own. And then I'm uh, going somewhere with Helen. I think we're going to go to Redka and Saltburn. I've been there before and I keep promising that I'm going to take Helen there. That park up on beach. Well, it's near beach. Anyway, I'm rambling as usual. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Love you all. Sidney.